to the show. We have got such a fantastic guest today. He is a hilarious man of many talents, and you can see him starring in Grand Cru, which is all the rage. Mm -hmm. And here's a fun fact. He saw 30 Broadway shows in one single summer. What was his favorite? Let's ask him. It's Echo Keller. Echo! Thank you. Okay. <laughs> we have to talk about it. 30 shows in one summer? Yeah, yeah. When was this? Last summer. And what was the best out of all 30 shows? I saw a show called Strange Loop five yeah. times. Of course, yeah, yeah. Strange Loop. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was just so phenomenal. I think it was more like I was catching up for all the years I didn't have Broadway growing up, yeah. in a way. So I just moved out to New York two summers ago, and it's been, Broadway's like one of my favorite things I get to do. How do you life. like living in New York? I love it. I love it too. It's such a energetic city. I feel like the people are really great. The art scene's incredible. Music is great. Food is awesome. Yeah. Uh huh. There's nowhere like it. Nowhere. I mean, the rats are friendly. Well, yeah. They're friendly. They'll give you directions yeah. if you ask them. You just know, oh, they're going away. I'm going to sway. Yeah. It's true. I, I've seen those big, fat, juicy rats. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 They're out here. With those strange, skin like tails. Uh huh. And you just. Kind of stop, and then you're like, live and let live. Yeah. yeah. Have okay. you guys heard of a rat king? What's a rat so, king? So it's yes. Like, yes. I, 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 there was like a cover story of New Yorker magazine or New York magazine. Yeah. Do I want to know what a rat king is? Will you inform well, us? Because I've heard the term, but I don't know exactly what it means. Yeah, so it's basically when all these rats tails get intertwined with each other from just all the like mess or whatever, and they act as one symbiotic creature. <laughs> It's wild. I find that it's really wild. cool and endearing. I don't like Ross's. Is... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Thank oh. you for coming, Echo. <laughs> well, I have to say, I That's think all me. three of us should intertwine our tails right now okay. and, te and, and tell some news stories. I yes. like it when you say it. Yes. Right? Yeah, yes. Matt can get behind that. By the way, Avatar, the whole tail yeah. intertwining. Yeah. Let's okay. spin this in the Taylor's. positive direction. <laughs> all right. You could do that. It is time to hit the headlines. Echo, will you kick us off? Of course. Come on. All right. Our fellow rat tail. <laughs> yes. Uh, as the middle rat tail. Here yes. I go. Okay. Billboard reports that the most popular artist on the planet is, can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> the Weeknd. Oh. Yes. Yes. Give it up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I now, Guinness World Records crowned the Starboy King by looking at Spotify streaming data. The weekend has 112.7 million monthly listeners. Wow. In second and third place are Miley and Ariana Grande with 83 and 82 million, respectively. And I am in last place. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, um, you're in first place as far oh, as we're concerned. Of course. Um, you know, that's really interesting, like, fun facts. I love The weekend so much, and as far as I'm concerned, The weekend being the winner works for me. Works for yeah. me, too. I looked into it. Oh, you did? Yeah, because I was, like, I was curious, like, who my most listened to artists were. And, my, and I swear Spotify thinks I'm a teenage girl. Because it's like Taylor Swift and Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga and Adele, and I'm just emotional and, uh, you know, going through puberty, apparently. Yeah, wow, wow. Yeah, who do you think your top Spotify listener, or artist is? Um, I... Oh, I don't know. I'm like a huge playlist girl, so I'm sort of like always pulling a song here or there. Um, I do love trusting those apps, you know what I mean, to tell me what to listen to yeah, next. Yeah, recommend, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I like to just, like when you're walking around New York City, stepping over a rat king, it's just like, who's gonna come on next? Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. I do. Do you have a, a particular artist you gravitate yeah, towards? Yeah, I mean, there's a few. I would say Spotify thinks I'm an older woman in the age of 60 or 70. Yeah, why? Because I'm head? listening to, like, Paul Simon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of Elton John, yeah. the old Jackson 5, oh, stuff wow. like that. So I dig in the crowd. I, mean, I, I listen to people like Logic and Childish Gambino and Drake and stuff like that, too. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the, uh, my, spot lot, my Spotify list, definitely Paul Simon was up there. It says so much about you who's on your list, right? I want to yeah. listen to your Spotify. Same, I know that. Same, for sure. All right, well, in fashion news, The Guardian reports, bros are bringing back the 
Brooch. <laughs> I tried to hook them together. Yeah. I tried to rat tail that. <laughs> um, okay, the accessory uh, Granny made famous is popping up all over the red carpet. Look at those beautiful, handsome gentlemen right there. That's Russell Wilson, John Cho, Michael B. Jordan. Um, they be brooching. And in honor of this fashion moment, <laughs> I mean, Echo, you are sort of brooching with your beautiful like sparkling chains that are just, ugh, perfection. <laughs> yeah. Um, we brought out some brooches. I have some here. Okay, yes. Echo, we got you. Look, this one is just a little, it's an E. Look how cute. Uh, that's, a cursive E for you. That's you what wanted. my name starts with. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Let's get it on here. Put that somewhere. Broach me up. Broach me. I'm all about brooches. Barrymore, we got you a macaroni and cheese brooch. I can't if get you it look on that fast one. enough. There I've never in my life seen a brooch <laughs> more suited... Spotify's got nothing on how much this brooch understands me and knows Whoa. me and sees me. I got myself a little froggy one. Look at this, because it goes with my outfit. <laughs> it's That's very, very cute. Oh, God, yeah. I can't. Do you, I love when a guy wears a little something. You know what Let I mean? Me like, you, the brooches. You Come you on. I, yes, I do. Okay. Please, Let Echo. Me. I trust if you. If I stab Drew. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. This will be the worst. Will you tell me about the new season of Grand Crew? Because I, I have to say, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Because people really look at this show with a lot of admiration. It's really critically acclaimed. It's well-loved. It harkens back to some of our, you know, favorite group friends shows that we haven't really had around for a while, and you yeah. guys are bringing it back. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's a fun hangout comedy. We definitely try to lean into the situational aspects of some of the comedy. We borrow off of a lot of the old classic hangout shows, yeah. whether it's Living Single or Seinfeld. I was going to say, it gives yeah. me Seinfeld, yeah. Friends. Yeah. Like definitely, it's, yeah. You know, there's Even a little bit of Sex in the City's in there, too. I mean, mm -hmm. that was one of the biggest inspirations for making the show was Sex in the City and a lot of those old uh, hangout sitcoms. And we pay homage to a lot of those in the season. I can't wait for everyone to see how it all comes out. Well, and we like to see ourselves. We like to see situations like that make us think or that we relate to or wonder what we would do if we were, oh my God, this brooch really I was works. just gonna say, yeah. you are actually pulling off the macaroni and cheese brooch and I yeah. can't believe yeah. you, you did it, Echo. I can't, the pressure the way, for me to get this right. Perfect yeah. placement, Echo. <laughs> Done. Thank you, Echo. Of Grand Crew are streaming now on Peacock.